Hello everybody, it's me, your good friend Sparky, and welcome to the Pokemon trading card game. Uh, this is, like, legitimately one of my favorite Game Boy games. And I've sort of had a renewed interest in playing the actual Pokemon trading card game Modern. But it's a very different game from when I was a small child. It's, uh, definitely evolved from the classic Pokemon trading card game I knew, and it's a little overwhelming at points. But if you ever wanted to experience classic Pokemon trading card game goodness, you just go to this game right here, available on Nintendo Switch Online, which is what I'm playing it on. Um, and yeah, I love the Pokemon trading card game. I remember it very fondly. And in general, uh, my channel's kind of lacking in Pokemon content, which is a bit of an insult, I think, because I like Pokemon way too much. So we're going to play this because I feel like it, I guess. And yeah. So yeah, let's start up a new game and become a Pokemon trading card game master. Is there no lowercase? I guess there's... Is there no lowercase? I guess there's no lowercase. I just have to be screaming my name at all times. My name is... Spark. Because I can't fit the Y in there. There's the K. Oh no, wait, I can't fit the Y. Never mind. I'm good at counting letters. Sparky is crazy about Pokemon and Pokemon card collecting. Yes, I am. One day, Sparky heard a rumor. The legendary Pokemon cards, the extremely rare and powerful cards held by Pokemon trading card game's greatest players. The Grand Masters are searching for one to inherit the legend. Dreaming of inheriting the legendary Pokemon cards, Sparky visits the Pokemon card researcher, Dr. Mason. And we're going to the Mason Laboratory, it seems. Quite quickly. Oh, why the rush, Sparky? What? You want to learn how to play the Pokemon trading card game? If I'm crazy about the card game, why don't I know how to play it yet? So, you too finally want to start playing the card game. Well, dueling is... <coughs> just seeing the term dueling threw me off a little bit. Am I playing the right game? Dueling is more fun than just collecting cards. First, you should try playing with a practice deck. Here, I'll give you this deck, and now you need an opponent. Hey, Sam, play with him for a while. Yes, Dr. Mason. Hello, Sparky. Oh, okay. Let's give it a try. Indeed. Hurry, I come here. In order to become a Pokemon trading card game master, we need to learn how to play the Pokemon trading card game. First, ask Sam the basics of the game. Okay, Sparky, what do you want to ask about? I mean... I generally know how to do all this. I'm not that um, inept at the card game anymore. I know the basics. Um, I, I guess for the heck of it, let's ask him about it. Let's ask him about energy cards. In order to do anything, Pokemon must have energy cards. If no energy cards are attached, the Pokemon will not be able to attack or retreat. There are seven types of energy cards. Grass, fire, water, lightning, psychic, fighting, and colorless. The type of energy required depends on the Pokemon. Be sure to learn which Pokemon require which type of energy. Indeed. Uh, attacking. Pokemon damage defending a Pokemon by attacking. Pokemon need energy cards in order to attack. For example, the energy required for Sea King's Waterfall is... Uh, Water Colorless. Water Colorless stands for water, one water energy card and the other ener energy card of any type. The energy required differs according to the attack. Retreating. Switch your active Pokemon with a bench Pokemon. Choose retreat the retreat command. If the active Pokemon is in danger, move it back to your bench. Energy re required in order to retreat. The number of energy card requires... The, what requires depending on the Pokemon. I'm having trouble reading today, apparently. But that's nothing new. Evolving Pokemon! 
There are three types of Pokemon cards. Basic Pokemon, Stage 1 Pokemon, and Stage 2 Pokemon. Squirtle is a basic, Wartortle is a Stage 1, and Blastoise is a Stage 2. Uh, basic Pokemon are the only cards that can be put directly into play. A basic Pokemon in play can be evolved into a Stage 1 Pokemon. A Stage 1 Pokemon in the play area can be evolved into a Stage 2 Pokemon. Therefore, Squirtle is needed in order to play Wartortle, and Wartortle is needed in order to play Blastoise. Using a Pokemon Power Some Pokemon have special abilities called Pokemon Powers. Some Pokemon Powers are used as soon as the Pokemon is played, while others must be used by choosing the Pokemon Power command. There are many different Pokemon Powers, so read each card's text carefully. I guess this one is a point of interest, because Pokemon Powers and what they've been called and how they function have changed over time, slightly, from my best knowledge of how the game has evolved. So, yeah, they used to just be Pokemon powers, but I know they've had a couple different names. Uh, ending your turn. Your turn ends after you attack. If you do not have enough energy to attack, or if your active Pokemon cannot move due to paralysis or sleep, you can end your turn by choosing the Done command. This will cause your turn to end and your opponent's turn to begin. You should choose Done if you aren't unable to do anything. And win or loss of a duel. Generally, the win or loss of a duel is decided by prizes. Prizes are cards that you may draw when you knock out one of your opponent's Pokémon. If you win, you win if you knock out as many of your opponent's Pokémon as there are prizes to be drawn. You will lose the duel if you have no cards in your deck at the start of your turn, or if there are no Pokémon in your play area. So be careful! Uh, nope, yeah, that covers all the basics. This is... 100% the classic Pokemon card set, so there's no, like, Pokemon EX, GX, V, V Max, V Star, whatever the heck. So, it's as simple as you can get, and honestly, I kind of prefer the Pokemon card game more simple. But the EX cards and things like that are fun to use, so, yeah. <laughs> Is that all? Yes. They say that actions speak louder than words, so let's play a game. Since this is your first time, just try to learn the basic steps. I'll be coaching you, so follow my advice. If you don't do as I say, we won't be able to proceed. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it might be easier if you read the Pokemon Trading Card Game Instruction Booklet while we play. Okay, let's start your practice game. Text Sam, Sam's Practice Deck. Since this is just practice, do not shuffle the deck. Each player will draw seven cards. Tutorials. Choose the basic Pokemon to place in the arena. And get ready for the battle, you choose your active Pokemon. You can only choose basic Pokemon as your active Pokemon. So you can choose either Goldeen or Staryu. For our practice duel, go choose Goldeen. Sure. Goldeen, level 12, was placed in the arena. You may choose up to 5 basic Pokemon to place on the bench. Next, put your Pokemon on your bench. You can switch bench Pokemon with your active Pokemon. Only basic Pokemon can be placed on your bench. Choose Staryu! Uh-huh. Play Staryu level 15 on the bench. When you have no Pokemon to put in your bench, press the B button to finish. B button. And we place the prizes. Place two prizes. A coin will be tossed to decide who plays first. If heads, Sparky plays first. It's heads. You play first. Sparky's turn. Draw one card from the deck. We drew a water energy. To use the attack command, you need to attach energy cards to your Pokémon. Choose cards from the menu and select a water energy card. Next, choose your active Pokémon, Goldeen, and press the A button. Then the water energy card will be attached to Goldeen. Finally, attack your opponent by selecting the an attack command. Choose attack from the menu and select horn attack. Now, let's play the game! Indeed. Ah, uh, let's see. Water energy. We'll put that on Goldeen. And we attack! Even though, technically you're not allowed to attack on your first turn, but this is just a tutorial, so, you know. Sam draws one card from the deck. Same as thinking. Attach the fighting energy to match up. Same as thinking. Match up's level 20's low kick. Oh no, our fish has been kicked. How dare. And it's our turn again. And we drew a water energy. Your Goldene's gonna get knocked out. Let's evolve it. Choose Seeking from your hand and attach it to Goldeen to evolve it. Its HP increases from 40 to 70. Your Seeking doesn't have enough energy to use Waterfall. 
you need to attach a psychic energy card to Seeking. Bleh means any energy card. Now you, you can use Waterfall. Keep the water energy card for other Pokemon. Now let's attack your opponent with Seeking's Waterfall. Now let's play the game. Alright, so we will do as he asks. We'll evolve our Goldeen into Seeking. We'll attach the Psychic Energy to it. And we attack with Waterfall, dealing a 30 damage. Heck yeah. And back to Sam's turn. He placed Rattata level 9 on the bench. And attached a Fighting Energy to Rattata. And now he's going to kick our fish again. Rude. Very rude. Okay, he drew a Water Energy. Seeking's got enough energy, so you don't need to attach any more energy cards to your... Uh, attach... But... Okay, I... I what? I skipped past words, apparently. Attach energy charge to your bench Pokemon to get them ready for battle. Attach a water energy to your bench star you. Next, select the attack command. Matchup has 10 HP left. Seeking's heart attack will be enough to knock out Matchup. Now choose Seeking's heart attack. Now Matchup's HP is zero, and it is knocked out. When you knock out the defending Pokemon, you can pick up a prize. Neat. Now let's play the game. Alright, so, water energy on star you. And attack with Horn Attack. Indeed. And we get a lovely prize. Uh, we want this one. It's a water energy. How about that? Alright, Sam, you and your... I was gonna say stupid little Rattata, but you evolved it. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Lightning energy is on Raticate. And it's using Bite. Oh no. We took 20 damage. That's sad. Oh, and we drew a Drowsy. Cool. When all your Pokemon are knocked out and there are no Pokemon on your bench, you lose the game. Put Drowsy, the basic Pokemon you just drew, on your bench. Attach a Water Energy card to Drowsy to get ready to attack. Choose your active seeking and attack your opponent with a Waterfall. Now let's play the game. Alright. Yeah, this... From what I remember, this first tutorial battle is basically the exact same thing every time. And I think you can play it as much as you want, so if you need to get a better grasp on the game, this is a good way to do it, so you can kind of memorize the steps and the flow of a turn. Uh, but okay, this is fine. It's Sam's turn. And he attached a lightning energy to eradicate. Sam is thinking. And he used Buzz Boy. He's chomping our fish, and our fish is now not there anymore. And he takes a prize card. And we select a Pokemon to place in the arena. Choose a bench Pokemon to replace your knocked out Pokemon. You now have Drowsy and Staryu on your bench. Choose Staryu as the active Pokemon for this practice duel. Here, press Select to check Pokemon data. It's important to know your cards and the status of your Pokemon. Now let's play the game. Indeed. Um... Yep, we can use Select to kind of search around and take a look at all of our Pokemon. Star, you know, Slap, which is neat. And Drowsy knows Pound and Confuse Ray. Okay. Uh, back. Put Char Star, you on the field. We're going to get ready to slap this rat. Star, you evolves into Starmie. Let's get Star, you ready to use Starmie's attack command when it evolves to Starmie. Choose the water energy from your hand and attack it. Attach it to Staryu. Attack your po opponent with Staryu Slap. Now let's play the game! We are preparing for the future. It's important to remember what kind of Pokemon you have in your deck. And to, uh, try to memorize energy costs so you can plan ahead. Uh, what else are you gonna do? Let me guess. You're gonna bite my starfish. If I had to guess, you're thinking very hard about it, but this is going to re- Oh, you're going to swap. Oh, no. This tutorial t is taking many twists and turns that I did not expect. 
and we've been kicked. Ah, uh, I am sad. And we drew a freaking Sea King. Now recover Staryu with a trainer card. Use potion from your hand. Now let's get ready to evolve it into Starmie. Also attach a water energy card to Staryu. Attack your opponent with Staryu, slap it under your turn. Now let's play the game. I'm trying. But you keep interrupting me with tutorials. And... Touch water energy to start star you. Is that what she told me to do? Actually, I don't remember now. <laughs> I was like, shut up with your tutorials. And I don't remember what he said to do. But okay, I think that was right. Ah, <laughs> uh, fighting energy card on matchup. And we get low kicked again. Ouch. And we draw one card. Muddy, I know, it's Starmie. You know, you have finally drawn a Starmie card. Choose Starmie from your hand to use it to evolve Staryu. You've already attached enough energy to use Star Freeze. Attack your opponent with Starmie's Star Freeze. Now let's play the game. And this will be the finale to our little tutorial. We use... Actually... Let's check this out. We can check what Star Freeze does. Flip a coin if hits the defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. And we also know Recover, so we can recover HP if we want to. But yeah, let's use Star Freeze. Paralysis check if hits the opponent is paralyzed. Indeed. Matchup level 20 took 20 damage. And it's Sam's turn. And it's actually the fighting energy. But he finished the turn without attacking because his Pokemon was paralyzed. Matchup is cured of paralysis. Which goes away between turns. At the, well, the end of your turn, rather. Now Matchup has only 10 HP left. Let's finish the battle. Attack with Starmie's Star Freeze. You've knocked out your opponent. Pick up the last prize. Sparky is the winner. Now let's play the game. Heck yeah! Ah, uh, we have to do one more paralysis check, just cuz. Not that it matters, because we win, and Sam sucks. Indeed. What do you know, our prize is a water energy. And the decision? You won the duel with Sam! Cool beans. Basically, this is how the Pokemon trading card game is played. It's a game in which you try to knock out as many of your opponent's Pokemon as there are prizes. That's the gist of it. If you don't understand something, talk to Sam. It might be helpful. To practice again, too. This time was just practice, so I had you follow everything I said, but there are other styles of play. So try them out by choosing Normal Duel. Uh-huh. Now then, let's build your deck. Did you bring your cards? Sparky handed his cards to Dr. Mason. Hmm, let me add some of my own cards to yours. Now, Sparky, what kind of deck do you want? Please select the deck you want. Ah, the equivalent of choosing our starter Pokemon, which is appropriate because these are all starter Pokemon themed. We can choose Charmander, Squirtle, or Bulbasaur. Since this is a Generation 1 game, there is no Johto Pokemon and beyond. Um... Ah, let's see. I think for the sake of sticking with one of my favorite Pokemon, I'm going to choose the Squirtle and Friends deck. Though... I am quite the fan of the classic Charmander and Charmeleon and such cards. But, uh, we can always get those later. A Squirtle and Friends deck? Yes. Okay, a Squirtle and Friends deck. Here are the remaining cards. We received a Squirtle and Friends deck! Sparky received 30 cards. You should duel with many different people. Why don't you go to one of the card clubs where there are, ma there are many people playing at the clubs? Collect new cards and try to build a new deck. Cool beans! And we can actually have control of our character now. So let's take a look at our, uh, freaking, uh, deck here. We can have four preset decks, so that's very nice. Uh, we can check out what kind of Pokemon we've got in here. And we can see that we also have some Pokemon like Caterpie and Metapod and Weedle and stuff in reserve, too, if we want to build another deck. We have Charmander, Charmeleon... And I believe picking your starter deck, you sort of start out with a lot of the basics. Hmm. 
Actually, we don't have any Bulbasaur cards. Never mind. I thought we started out with all the starter Pokemon, and then picking our starter deck kind of gives us a, uh... The final evolution and things like that. But I guess not. Uh, we got a lot of those familiar cards that we were using with Goldeen and Staryu and stuff right now. Um, let's see. We also have some fighting Pokemon in our deck for reasons. And we've got all sorts of different stuff, actually. Huh. This is kind of a messy deck. <laughs> but, whoops, we accidentally took a card out. Okay. But, you know, that's fine. There's a lot we can do and a lot we can discover. We'll leave the deck as is for right now. Uh, save it. Yes. And we can also experiment with building our own deck if we really want to. But, uh, tutorial time took a little longer than expected, so I think we're gonna call this episode right here for right now. We will continue our Pokemon trading card event game adventure next time, so thank you very much for watching. This is your good friend Sparky signing off, and I will catch you later. This is gonna be fun. I get the strangest feeling. <laughs>